So this is the big moment when I show you how to change the uh, the solder in the tube filament pins. I'm not going to do it actually because that would require an extra hand that I do not have at the moment. So I just show you the process step by step. So first of all, you will need an additional hand and I use this extra neat handy device to grab the tube by the pin. So this is the pin that we are going to upgrade. So how do you do that? So to do that, you grab your soldering iron and you add a dab of solder into the tip. Let's see, here we go. And for that, use some plain Rosencore solder with a, no, don't, do not use a silver solder for this part, for desoldering the tube pin because silver solder has a high, higher melting point and we want to keep the melting point as low as we can because we are removing the solder. So basically first apply some solder into your tip and, and get a big blob on it. Now it's, I'm not getting any blob because it's off. I haven't turned my iron on, but when you do get a big blob, and then go for your tube pin and, and stick it there to the tip, right to the tip, and then see the whole thing melt. So when you see uh, that solder blob melting your the end, the tip of your pin, and after that with your other hand while still holding this here, imagine that I'm holding it there, but now I have to put down because I only have two hands. So with, the, with your left hand you are holding your solder, iron and with your right use a desoldering tool like this solder pull and you go there and you just press the button and then it sucks up the solder and that's it the old solder is gone from there and now you should have your nice good solder ready and just wind a little bit into the cleaned uh, pin and with your other hand with the solder just keep the solder here your iron at the tip and then when you wind the uh, solder with your other hand that touch it to the two pin itself do not touch it to the solder iron so when you are soldering you don't you are not trying to solder your iron to your pin so never put solder onto your soldering iron always heat up the joint first in this case the internal pin and the external leg and then add solder into it and let uh, i would say like use a copious amount of solder to make sure that they connect because you will see when it's cleaned up that there's a physical gap between the center pin and the outer leg. So in the case of every single vacuum tube, the connection is not direct between the uh, outer pin and the inner pin, but they always go through the solder joint. When you have a mechanical solder joint in your circuitry, there we always have two wires uh, or two surfaces directly connecting and the solder is there to, to keep that mechanical connection secure. So electricity flows from one to the other. But in this case, the electricity flows from one through the solder to the other. And that's why uh, changing the solder makes such a gigantic difference in vacuum tubes, because you are always going to hear your solder. And in every single case, they are using uh, junk, really junk solder to solder those pins. So after you have done your ready with your process, you have enough solder in there to uh, create a bridge between the outer pin and the inner pin. And you, and you see a nice surface uh, forming, a tension forming between the two of them. After that, just put your iron back and get a piece of paper and put a dab of alcohol in it so i always keep some isopropanol in a little nice jar and have it ready and i just drop 
vet it and with your wet towel use the wet towel technique and just pinch the pin and then you will hear the hissing sound as the whole thing cools down and why do you do that it's because you don't want to keep that uh, hot forever because you will be stressing out the glass bulb and our goal here is not to crack the glass but to upgrade the joint and for to do that you can solder on it because when they made the uh, vacuum tube it was soldered so so that's something that uh, it can uh, handle but you don't want to overstress the tube so that's why once the joint is done psh, cool it down and then and then just wipe it clean so the other use of alcohol is that you you clean off the flux from the tip and and that's very important because the flux residue it uh, over, over time it carbonizes on top and it will create noise for the long term so it's important that always clean off your work after you have done so do that try it out with your vacuum tubes try it out at first at the grid pin and if you have a, a good experience with that then you can go ahead and change all your two pins solder and uh, this is the i would say the cheapest way to for tube rolling or tube upgrading and uh, you might be surprised because you can literally transform the vacuum tubes with it and just make them so much better and this is how you will find out what is the true potential of the tubes that you have so have fun everyone and uh, please like and subscribe and uh, whip out your solder station thank you goodbye